Hello, Randy Allen here with Engraving Concepts. One of the many calls we take during the week are folks that are wanting to figure out how to save the preferences in their printer driver for their laser engraving machine. Uh, the Epilog, like any other printer, installs as a printer on the control panel uh, in the Windows operating system. So by going to the control panel and printers, we can save just about any settings we want as preferences or defaults to that particular printer and I believe that works with just about any printer in Windows. So this is the owner's manual in the epilogue, page 125 of this particular version of the manual, but changing dashboard driver defaults. These are the printed steps in the manual to show you how to do that. Let me show you how to do that in this video. Again, you like to set up preferences so that every time you get ready to print a job you don't have to check autofocus or you uh, want to check that or you want raster to be default or combine because you do more engraving and cutting in the same job as your day-to-day -day operation so you want to basically get all of these set up as you want them to appear when you're ready to click print and that's true with uh, anything advanced if you do more rubber stamps you can save the stamp driver as default if you have color mapping settings where you do the um, different cutouts with vector in the wood uh, vector marking and vector cutting you can set that up as default so in the general section you want to get it up get it set up just the way you want it to appear and the way you get there is you go to start in the control panel devices and printers and again this works with just about any printer right click on the printer to go to printing preferences in printing preferences get this set up just the way you want it so I'll say um, I like maybe 70% speed for my default setting. So when I say OK, anything that's set in these three tabs will then become my default setting. So we'll say OK, and that will be saved as default when you click on Print. I hope that helps.